Right. And now we're going down here. I think I've only done this, I think it's about twice this extended route. Uh, it's difficult to do it in the winter because it's very boggy and then sometimes in the summer if people don't use this route it gets overgrown and um, well it's better better done now than in the morning because it would be very wet. I don't know what creatures are going to bite me either. Um, but it gives you a chance to get over there and see some of the, the ships. I haven't done it for a while, so I'm partly forgetting what I've, where I've been. But um, this is the marshlands of uphill here. As long as it don't thunder and lightning, it just feel a bit like that. But I think we'll be okay. Let's hope. Because there's no shelter here. Not unless you get on a boat. I remember crossing this bit. Just doing a little bit of a video for this bit. So there's probably marsh insects that can bite. And I'll probably get the bus back from uphill because I'm doing a bit of extra here. I'm not going to do the beach. I don't want to get too burnt out hot. Um, if I'm going on a long walk tomorrow. I've got a bit of indigestion. All I did, I ate some chocolate and uh, had a drink of black currant. I'm better off not eating, you know, when I'm walking. Try to tell the truth. I've also um, had a little bit of toothache. Gum ache more than anything. So, um, I over was over enthusiastic cleaning my teeth one day last week. Really gave them what I call a thorough clean. Um, but when I do that, what happens is I tend to uh, disturb any bacteria I think that are lurking. Look at that. And uh, it will fade off. Hopefully it won't cause an abscess. I've had this before. And basically, if I use the mouthwash, just use the toothpaste with the, with the finger, not use a brush, it will ease up again. I've, I mean, at the moment, I'm just having to take paracetamol. There's always the same tooth that seems to get disturbed. Um, it's got a crown, it's got a platinum crown that I had oh, four odd years ago. It cost me a lot of money then. Um, I think it cost me £200. 42 years ago, something like that, I had it done. When I lived in Pangbourne, I lived in Pangbourne. Kate Middleton's lot lived near there as well. I probably bumped into her parents more in times than I realise, actually. Now, if you come... Anyway, forget about that. Forget about the toothache. We're out on a beautiful day. And I'm just going to zoom into the river. The River Axe. Now that big orange thing, that's been around for a few years now. When it first arrived, beached, nobody really knew what to make of it, and people still don't. It's a, it is a vehicle. It is a type of submersible, I think. Um, but here you've got lots of the yachts moored up here. You've got the church on the top there. And um, I don't know if it ever is used anymore, but it did... People did wonder what it was when it first arrived five or six years ago. Don't know if it's been used since. Brain down over there, of course. And I'm just following this route. It looks like it has been used. It is nice to do a, a different section of the walk sometimes. And this is probably the best time. 
because um, it's dry. It's not early morning, so the grass isn't making you soaked as you walk along. I'm not saying I won't come to an obstacle in a minute. The big dragonfly went over. <sighs> Some good old ships here, like that blue one there. I'm going to turn off in a minute, see and take photos, but I'll just zoom into that one. I'll take some pictures of it. That's a tall, a type of tall ship, isn't it? With the tall mast. Not a huge tall ship, but... It's got two masts. Yeah, so it's, like I say, it's nice to walk on the moor as well. See the river. See more of the river. It's a day to do it today. It's a day to do it, to walk along here in peace. So when summer holidays come, all these places, are, they're not overrun, but there's more people than you'd normally meet. Always reminds me of the Ocean Youth Club days when I come anywhere and see yachts like this. It stirs up those very early teenage years when I used to go horse riding. I had a, quite a good teenage life in many ways, but of course I lost my mother when I was 14. But when I went to live and train as a cadet nurse in a mental hospital, I was right on Dartmoor. I went horse riding. I was near Plymouth. I joined the Ocean Youth Club. And um, I was exposed to lots of healthy hobbies, I think, for most of those 16, 17 year old times. And uh, of course, you're a teenager, you meet boys and all that, and everything goes wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, same old, same old. Anyway, <sighs> battery exhausted. Okay. More video in. That big old boat there. It's got a tiller. I can't see a wheel as such. It's got a name. Sharanga. I bet that's been around. Sort of boat you can see in the Caribbean, isn't it? And that looks bigger than ever, that orange thing. The more I examine it, the bigger it looks. It's more out of the water, I think, that's why. It's got a back door as well. It might be a giant boy with people in it. Right then, I'm carrying on my lovely walk. A couple of sloops en route. I had to change battery a minute ago. Yeah, this is a nice walk this is actually. There's a bit of a breeze which is helping. And the sun has gone in a bit as well. The sun has gone in a bit. I didn't bring my stick today. I'm thinking the stick is making the camera jump more because I'm having to... Well, I can put it away. Yeah, I can put it away. There'll be people looking over thinking, I wonder if she got over there because you, you don't see many people doing this. Because most of the most of the year, you can't do it. Most of the year, you can't do it. Fortunately, someone's doing it because there's a path. But I think I remember when I first came, um, it was very overgrown, but I could just make out the path. Interesting little plants, aren't they? Natural little habitat for creatures, this is. Marshland.
I should just follow this path. Because it is boggy. You've got to be careful. There are still boggy areas. <clears throat> yeah, I had to take a paracetamol again for my type of gum toothache, which I get if I over-clean. They say you, should, you shouldn't you should over-clean. I always forget. Now and again, I try to remember once this happened and I don't get an abscess, I think, oh, that was bloody lucky, Sheila. You over-cleaned. Some bacteria, you see, are actually useful in the mouth. You actually do need some, some bacteria. They, they destroyed debris. But if you stir them up too much, they will go into the soft tissue of your gum. And, um, and they will cause irritations. And I mean, what you don't want is um, them stirring up your teeth. <clears throat> I had a massive, a really terrible abscess last year. Worse I'd ever had in my whole life. And, um, it was really awful. I had to go to A&E twice because they, they were worried about it because uh, the abscess was so big it was spreading down my neck and they were worried about that in case it attached to a main blood vessel. So um, fortunately I got the whacked in the eye and I had to really really get antibiotics. I had to really have a go at my dentist to make sure I got antibiotics. I knew that I needed them. Anyway, that's last year. But these are events in life that you tend to remember. 2020 was an awful year all round. It was full of uh, viruses and bugs. And... Uh, Can't see anyone following me. Right, I'm going to turn off again now, folks. There's the, it's cooler now. It's quite nice now, actually. There's a plane coming over. There's a good view of Brent Knoll right over there, look. It's up there. I've mentioned it several times on this walk. It'll be, it's always mentioned. I mention it all the time. Right, it's over now. I've got to take... Okay, well I've just come across there. Apparently there was a path. I must have missed it when there was that big channel because I had to cross over one fence over there. There must have been one further down that I missed. Anyway, there is one, look. There is a, there is a path. And over there I think we've got cows. Let me have a look. Yeah, there are some cows, look. Cows over there. There's a catamaran there. I just did a little bit of video footage. I just do a little bit of video footage. There's a cow looking at some people. Two cows looking at some people. Oh, I'm, found, I'm glad I found this, this walk. I like to do something. This is new, this bit. I mean, I got up as far as back there before. Let's see, because that's Sammy's. Come on. Come on, you can come get some foodies. Yeah! The Sammies are coming to walk with me. There's one of my crows. Look, he says, what are you doing out here, Sheila? We're coming, mate. Keep an eye on you, Sheila. Make sure you're safe.
Ahoy! Ahoy! Oh, he's going up to the crow. It's amazing. He's made him go off the top. Yeah, this is nice doing this. I love exploring. I prefer that and getting in a field with the cows that was nosy. Take some more photos in it, folks. I'm just giving you a bit of an idea of the walk I'm on. It's very pleasant. It shows you can do this in the summer. If you want to do it just a little bit extra exploring and you're not too nervous about the tide coming in to get you or nothing. Of course, when the tide goes out, depending on where you've uh, put your anchor down, you can end up sideways. Uh, He's got his wind thing there, look on the back. But he's at an angle. Tide could come in, and I don't know how high it goes. But it looks pretty dry here, and it is the summer. So you'd have to take into account before you even risked coming this way, right? You'd have to take into account the tide was going to come in because that, that could be bog all the way across there. Right, over and out for a minute everyone. Over and out for a minute. Take some photos. Right, another small video before I leave this lovely marsh area. See this bit here? This is a tributary that joins the River Axe which is the bit that goes up and up round by the sewage works. This is a little tributary that a lot of uphill yachts use and go up around the corner there and, and, and um, harbour up up there. They have to turn, they have to wait for the tide to come in and it will come in, It'll be interesting to do this. It is a bit damp here, it might actually just lap up here, might not it? Do you know what I mean? It's a possibility that it laps but I feel I know where I am now. Another time I might try and cross back there where that path originated. Anyway, right back there we've got, um, in the mist, right back there now we've got Brent Knoll. I'm going to try and zoom in on it because it is one of those beautiful reference points. It's right in the mist now. It's getting further away as I go further away. But here's this lovely marshland and habitat, everyone. <sighs> lovely marshland and habitat. You've just got to watch, you don't fall, walk backwards and fall down a little ditch like this. And here we are, oh, well, what's going to happen in a minute? I'm going to join a path I normally use, and I go up through a gate there and up round that way. So it's a lovely circular walk you can do. This is the first time I've come out here, but um, it won't be the last time. No, it's a more interesting walk actually. I expect other people do do it. Yeah. So I should come out at the boatyard in a minute. Up there we've got the tower. Everything's misty today, it's very hazy. That's the tower up there, look, the beacon where they have bonfires and jubilees and things like that. For the Queen. And then further over we've got the church, St Nicholas. It's not going to be dead straightforward, the video, because um, there's a lot of haze about and the, the actual camera doesn't like hot weather. And I just hope I'm in focus because it'd be a shame if I'm not because um, I've done some lovely footage along here now. Lovely, lovely habitat all across there. Beautiful. 
I just got to go around the block and I'll be at the boatyard, the yachting club I think, or part of it, I don't know if it is, it's a marine lake, I don't know if it's part of the yachting club because they've got a separate building. Let me just see if I am in focus for this a minute. Yeah, I must be. Must be in focus. There's a runway down to the... to board and get off, disembark. When the river comes in, it would be nice actually to sit here and watch the river come in round that corner, wouldn't it? At the moment, it looks like it's trickling out. Yeah, there's much, there's lots to do. You can never get bored. You can never get bored when you're out. But it would, like I say, you could sit here and just watch it start coming up. Up round. But it's going out at the moment. It's going out. Sometimes I walk over that side, round the loop. And round. On the other side of the river, I think. Yeah, so there we go, folks. I'm going to take a picture of this lovely scene. Over and out. <laughs>